Hi Virgo, welcome to this Tower Love reading. My name is Sophia. Welcome to this community. So I'm going to jump in. Let's see what's going on with you in your connection. <clears throat> what you're up to have you checked out the playlist the playlist has everything in there for you but let's see let's see what's going on with your collection I want to see let's jump straight into that right from there Right, let's jump in. Let's see what's going on. What advice? Right, let's take these as well. Right, loads of cards, so I'll just jump in straight away. First lot, Six of Swords, King of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and then I'll jump into these. Uh, you can't move forward. You're not moving forward, but you're emotionally connected. But moving forward means that you feel that maybe you are accepting your person is with someone else. And that's why you don't want to move forward. So you're stuck now, wanting to move, but there's some kind of illusion. It's like, yeah, this would be the hangman, but that this is wanting to move. Hangman is kind of stuck in an awkward position, not moving, right? Stung on his, stuck on his tree. But I feel with this reading, you want to move. Six of Swords is, right? But you don't know. It's... it's um, where to go it's like to the delusion of you can't stay there with your person with someone else or move past this but that's still a delusion with the moon so you're stuck but you want to move <laughs> the hangman you know is um different different stuff so your person's over there in some kind of third party situation which you know, I don't think they're leaving even though they feel you, but they're more focused on the physicality of this seems better, the better option, because you, you're stuck. You might say your person's stuck. I'm like, well, you ain't doing nothing. My person might be stuck, literally mine, right, in a situation as everyone else with the planets, but I'm not. I'm still doing what I got to do. You're stuck. You shouldn't be stuck. Because you're here to show people you're the spiritual person. Well, how can you be stuck? Only thing that stops you is you. There's nothing outside of you that makes you stuck. But that's how you're feeling. Valor is about fighting to the death to defend what you want with the seven of wands. And it's about having the strength to jump into the unknown. Now I'm gonna do I'm doing the several other new videos, new playlists, twin flame playlists, but all the other ones in the playlist should help you so far. But the one which I'm working on now, which has got a couple of ones in there, please watch the playlist. It will help you know about your journey. But why I'm saying that, because the seven of wands is about how this world works. And like because it's about jumping into the unknown, starting afresh, because my seven of wands he's near cliff. I think that's generally the ride awake. See, he's like a cliff and he's got to jump over, but he needs to get the strength to do it to fight for the twin flame, right? And that's fighting to the death, Valor, that's what it means. Standing up for something to the death, like like I said, this is you. And, and why I was saying about the playlist is because I'm going to do, the, my one of my videos is going to be about healing, how that works. Because most people are just like, oh, I've got to heal myself. I'm like, can you tell me what that means? right most don't just say it they don't know what it is so i'm going to do a talk video because if you jump in first because i'm going to talk about why your person how it connects with you why because you heal then they just heal how that kind of works with so a twin flame contract 
So if you do this and jump in, then your person follows. But because you're sat there doing nothing, so is your person sat there doing nothing where they are. And you're both in an uncomfortable situation. Because underneath your person is the Ten of Swords. And with you, I've already explained. You, If you go, you, I don't even think you can go towards your person. I feel that you're separated and there's nothing happening here. And you're stuck. You're like, I, I can't come away from my person and my person's not coming towards me. There's a stuckness here. But your person is stuck in this Ten of Swords. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, then the Ten of Swords. So the uh, Ten of Pentacles to the Ace of Wands is you want your person to leave a marriage. And this is a classic situation. Twin Flames think, okay, because your person's over there with a, a nightmare situation. Ten of Swords, right? People that might be stabbing them in the back and blah, blah, blah. You think, okay, they're just going to get up and leave that situation and come towards you. But many people stay in a job that is shit for years. Say, for example, you're a cleaner. They can go and get another cleaning job. Do they do that? No. <laughs> That's that situation. And same with you. You know you're in a comfortable position you're watching me, this community that is very rare. I can't say very rare. I can say totally rare. There's no such thing on YouTube, which is bigger than television, right? What, 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 this, this community is rarer than famous people, right? That's how, and you found this community. So, and I, not only that, we, I say we, we all guarantee the programs and the counseling that you get, money back guarantee that they work. And still you do nothing. You stay stuck. So this is a mirror. Because you're like you're not doing the dots. You're not like, well, okay. Um, if I said just said to you in this reading, there's a mirror here, you're like, what? What how's that? I ain't got a third party. I ain't letting people stab me in the back. But like I said, you're not doing anything with your life. It's mirroring to your person. Both in an uncomfortable situation, you're just waiting as of other twin flames think they'll just wait for my person. To come towards me because with the twin flame match, ace of wands, and then we're moving, live together, blah, blah, blah. But the first card is, because that's underneath you, and this is you. And I'm like, well, the, the first card is you're stuck. Nothing's happening. And I mean, literally, you're not moving in your life. You're not moving towards your person. You can't come away from your person. You're stuck. But this is all you're doing is sat there doing nothing. Hence, your person is sat there in a third-party situation with the same drama as well. Ten of Swords. Like I said, with Valor, this is jumping into the unknown, right? And leaving all past behind. The Fool jumps in. Um, um, some cards, mine hasn't, has a, a, a sack on the, on the wand, let's call it. And people say they only take a little bit. The fool doesn't jump in taking a little bit. He takes a fuck all. That bag he takes is so he takes his new, he can collect new experiences. Meaning that you need to jump in and start anew with nothing from what you know of the past. And stick to it, seven of wands. Not, okay, I've done a couple of counselling, bought two programmes and then, you know, no. Stick to it. Seven of Wands. Then you can create balance and you get the lovers and all of that comes in. Right? Otherwise, slow as fuck. Right? This is about you. I think you're getting downloads about this. What to do and you're ignoring it. You're getting tower moments and tower moments and stuff like that. Because I don't think your person's communicating with you. So this is communication from upstairs about love. You've got to um, love yourself, go within, and you're just ignoring it. What you're thinking is, oh, well, I, I, I'm, I, I'm queen of caps. I wouldn't hurt a fly, Sophia. I, work, well, I walk bare feet, feet in nature, Sophia, with my Jesus sandals. And I pray for Archangel Raphael. What's that got? you got to be the high priestess. you got to be the high priestess. And jump in to be the high priestess. Start over being the high priestess. Not this bullshit spirituality of dabbling and then quitting. Dabbling into things and quitting. 
that's what this reading is this could be mental health issues picking up as well which is you know i don't even like that mental health issues but i have to say names and titles so you resonate but that doesn't sound right but you know could be and it could be undiagnosed as well but you feel different and mentally you you think or learn differently as well that is what i'm picking up so let's just get some um additional advice from upstairs <laughs> what did i say stuck right and i said mental uh this is swords mentally stuck one way of doing it <laughs> so i'm getting this kind of with most learning difficulties right which i'm working on but not yet i'm decorating my son's place so about two three weeks i'm working on mental health and drug addiction my next programs but i'll give a tip if you feel like this the best way to get over most learning difficulties ocd adhd blah 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 organization organize your life then you don't get stressed that triggers the mental health issues that then go spirals out of control when you're organized you're happy when you're happy the mental health doesn't come in but anyway like i said i'm doing a, a, a video about that so like i said the first card is stuck and that's the eight of swords here that's a lot yeah this is about logic eight of swords and this queen of swords makes nine of swords so your logic eight it needs to die so this is undiagnosed mental health and so your logic eight in what to do yeah the first card six of swords but all the swords are down right so that means you're, you're lying to yourself and it doesn't mean it is because it's your perception People think their truth, and I get it, their truth is right, but it doesn't necessarily mean so, right? If I said to someone to make a community on YouTube, you, they might go, YouTube's just for videos. It's not about community, but here I am. There's variations of truth. Your truth is keeping you stuck. That's what this is. It's not saying it's wrong, but it's keeping you stuck. Stuck in your head, stuck in one way of doing things because you won't move forward. You just think, oh, it's a twin flame. They will eventually come towards me and will settle down ten of pentacles. Uh, universe, because these are universe. Well, all of it is universified. Needs to die. You need to cut that axe, that shit out, right? Needs to die. It's a death card. How you think, right? Change your perception of how you think about things. get an alien oracle yeah this is rooted belief systems that are holding you back and like i said the queen of wands was at the bottom of the deck so it's like you're determined like i said this isn't the hangman the hangman is kind of like puts yourself in an uncomfortable position this is wanting like i said at the beginning six of swords you're determined you want to move right and your queen of cups you're kind, you're nice, you're friendly, wouldn't hurt a fly, Jesus sandals, breathing in all that bullshit spirituality. But you're still stuck to a rooted belief system that's holding you back. And I feel it's a mental health issue, which is rooted, that needs to change. It's not even, yeah, it is about changing, but cha changing your perspective on things. It's like with this reading that you haven't had anything that makes you feel to change it to make it do do things differently and that's what i feel with this mental health you need absolute something that makes you change to do things differently but this is also ego you need to release it it's like you have to put your foot forward then the universe will put the foot forward kind of thing and it's like i feel you do and the universe gives you something and then you quit People have met, I have dyslexia and I, or, or my son has the learning difficulties as well. And you might think dyslexia isn't as bad as other mental health, but look what I've created from having dyslexia. 
I can't pronounce things, I can't read really. Like and what I do read I forget. Is is so it's not like just oh well, you know, the words upside down. Literally within one sentence I that's why I don't do emails. I'm like, stop sending me pages of emails. I only get emails from mission people now. And they know to just do chat videos. But look what I create. And this is stopping you. It's just an alternative way. That's why loads of twin flames have mental health issues. We're here to show people to do things differently. And when you have something that's wrong with you, which isn't wrong because there's no wrong or right, you learn to do things different. And that is part of your journey here, part of your path. But what you're doing is you're using it on the negative side of it. You're not using it in a positive way. That's what I'm getting with this reading. Let's close it out with what you need to know or what your person would want to say to you. I struggle to open up. Is that you or your person? Both probably. Yep, I feel that you, yeah, this is like, oh, um, you're loving, but you're not opening up your heart space. There's completely different. That's like saying uh, love is love. No, love is, there's variations of love, isn't it? You don't love your fish like you love your twin flame, right? There's degrees and variations of love. You have deep, deep love for your children, but you have deep, deep, deep love for your twin flame as well. It's the same version of deep love, but different. And that's this. This is like your your opening up your heart space is different to what you because you think, oh, I do love my person, but it's this, but what about the love of yourself? Do you see? That's what this is. A struggle to open up. Let's get a couple more. I wish I could communicate how I feel. It's the eight of wands in this reading. Yeah, communication here like yeah it's hard so like i said with mental health there's something that twists your your say vocabulary it could be you could think something and it comes out different there's something like that with uh, like i said with a mental uh, um, issues i struggle to express my love and feelings so i keep it to myself yeah i feel that's with you or some or both Fear is holding me back. I don't feel that's you. I feel that's your person. I don't think you fear to move forward. You just don't want to because you think you don't have to. But you are here to teach people how to get over that. I think I don't have to. Right? If not, you'll stay stuck. And that's your lesson. That's your path. So you can say, I was stuck for years until I actually just got out of my ego and pushed forward and started to move and notice. You don't notice what the universe provides. You don't, you don't notice it. That's what I feel with this reading. So you move forward. The universe gives you something and then you just, you just, take advantage of what the universe gives you instead of recognizing it and think okay thank you for that and then move to the next step which most people don't they take it for granted like if you book counseling then we throw in more programs and then like we'll help you to get in mission and and step by step by step and you just take advantage of okay well i've got some free programs can i have more free programs or something like that you don't recognize what you've got uh, and then you don't get nothing else what you want, one way thinking, eight of swords, so you quit. This is about reprogramming and seeing another way of the same way of thinking. Counselling, one-to-one -one is needed. Or you stay like this. It's up to you, right? So check out the uh, description box. It's got everything for you, the playlist, the Facebook, everything, all additional stuff to help you if you're not ready to book. Check out all the free stuff that's there ready um, that you can look into in the meantime. Speak to you later.